Hello and welcome back to the channel. And today we have some good news for fans that want new music from Eminem and word on the street suggests that we could even get two of those next week. One is already confirmed and we have an update from MGK in regards to his latest dig at Eminem in a new song that features Young Thug. From my calculations, he's not getting the desired results so far from Eminem clout and he is now trying to change the narrative to save face and we'll explore more on this in the latter part of this video. But first, my last video was about how Lil Uzi Vert edged out Eminem by 9,000 equivalent units in the United States and under that one, many people seem to get the wrong impression since Eminem still has the title of fastest selling hip hop album in the world in 2020. You'd be surprised by some of the comments on there by those who missed the part where it says United States and believe it's time for Eminem to quit. And if you've not checked that one out, you can find it at the link that pops up now. So Jesse Rios, who collaborated with Eminem on Kamikaze on two songs, is dropping her debut album on the 27th of this month. And she shared the track list of the album on Twitter. And the fourth track on the album features Eminem, a song titled Coffin. And based on the video of Good Guy where Eminem ends up in a coffin, some fans have already began speculating if there's a connection. Luckily for us, the release is just around the corner and thanks to music streaming, many people self-isolating right now will be able to enjoy this next week. Back in the day when it was only physical media, with the current state of affairs, the album releasing at a time like this would have meant death on arrival. And there are rumors that Joyner Lucas has a song with Eminem dropping on the same day, the 27th of March, but that's not yet confirmed. So will you check out Jesse Ria's album dropping next week? What do you think of Eminem's collaborations with her on Kamikaze? Tell us below and now we move on to the next topic at hand. Just a few days ago, MGK dropped a song with Young Thug in which he stated that he killed a goat. And based on his history with Eminem, it only made sense that he was talking about Eminem and the internet responded to this claim of body in Eminem. I did a video on that and it's filled with hilarious responses from fans regarding MGK's claim. So check it out if you missed it at the link that pops up. And since the results weren't what MGK expected, he has now come out to clear the air on social media to change the narrative. Check it out. Stop calling bullets with names of this record. It's just good music that I'm popping my shit on, get off my Now you might ask yourself, why is MGK doing this now? And the answer is simple, he's not getting the desired results he expected from the lyrics directed Eminem's way. I've said it on this channel that the fact that a person's name makes the headlines doesn't necessarily translate to something profitable. And here's a great example. El Jamar has been talking trash about Eminem for clout for years now, but despite making headlines using Eminem, not many people are suddenly going to buy an El Jamar album or stream his music because his name is in the news constantly. So he gets useless clout that doesn't benefit his dead music career. Now MGK benefited from Rap Devil and Eminem stated on Killshot that this is as big as MGK was gonna get. So since then, MGK has not come close to those heights and his latest song made the headlines for this in Eminem, but that didn't really move people to go purchase the song or even stream the song. Yes, the news was popular, but it didn't really push the streams or sales of the song. With these unfavorable results, MGK is now urging people to ignore the diss and enjoy the song instead because plan A to market the song has now failed. So cloud chasing doesn't always give the expected results and MGK has been learning this for a while since going against Eminem and even under my last video on this, some of his fans were disappointed in him for going this route to promote his new song. Benzino makes the news when he talks trash about Eminem, the same for Ja Rule, Nick Cannon and El Jamar, but this cloud doesn't ever translate to what they want the most, which is for people to check out their music or take them seriously. And now MGK is in the same boat. So that will be all for today, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't, leave your thoughts below on MGK's change of heart and see you on the next one.